In 1775, the Continental Congress created the Chaplain Corps. Under the command of General George Washington, each soldier was required to attend worship service every Sunday. While other armies advanced on their feet, Washington's troops advanced on their knees. It's time for the Chaplain's Report with Caleb Colquitt on Tactics. Chaplain's Report today comes from the book of Ezekiel. And it does play into what we were talking about earlier with the movie Unplanned. So I wanted to go ahead and take you to that. Uh, we'll go to Ezekiel chapter 33, verses 1 through 6. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, speak to the sons of your people and say to them, If I bring a sword upon the land, and the people of the land take one man among them and make, and make the, him their watchman, and he sees the sword coming upon the land and blows the trumpet and warns the people, then he who hears the sound of the trumpet and does not take warning, and a sword comes to take him away, his blood will be on his own head. He that heard the sound of the trumpet, but did not take warning, his blood will be on himself. But had he taken warning, he would be delivered of his life. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the trumpet and the people are not warned, a sword comes and takes the person from them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood I will require from the watchman's hand. So essentially what's going on here, and, and the Bible makes it very clear, God holds his people accountable. When he gives us a job to do, he expects us to do it. And one of the things that we, as Christians and members of his kingdom, are tasked with doing, just like Ezekiel, is to warn people about God's judgment, to warn them that things are going to happen if they don't repent, if they don't stop what they're doing. This was Ezekiel's time. This was Ezekiel's task. When he lived, Israel was replete with sin. And it was Ezekiel's job, because God told him to do it, to go out and warn people. And he gives this parable of the watchman, saying that as long as Ezekiel does his job, whatever happens, happens. As long as Ezekiel goes out and tells people the error of their ways, he can't make them change. He can't make them listen to him, but he did his job. But he's saying, if my watchman, if my watchman sees the sword coming and he sees that bad things are on the horizon and doesn't do anything to warn anybody, then not only his blood, but the blood of every person he refused to warn is on his head, which is a terrifying thought but it is based in biblical truth. And that's one of the reasons that I think that this movie is so important is because a lot of Christians, I think, have been far too silent on abortion for a long time. And not just the issue of abortion itself and declaring it wrong, which of course it is, but also that we haven't warned people what is going to happen if we continue down this path, if we continue to sacrifice the lives of our children in hopes of convenience or freedom from responsibility. Because the reckoning is coming. And I do believe that if we repent, if we turn around, that maybe that reckoning can be stayed. And as David once said, God's mercies are endless, and who knows when he will be merciful. But in this matter, I do think that it is the responsibility of every Christian to warn people that God is not happy with our behavior as a nation when it comes to this issue, and that bad things are going to happen if we don't turn it around. But here's the thing. Maybe some people won't listen. Maybe some people are going to ignore us, call us crazy, call us zealots, whatever. There are going to be people that do that. But when that reckoning comes, if we did our job, their blood is on their own hand. We gave them the warning. We sounded the trumpet. We did everything that we could to warn them that something was going to happen if they didn't change. But all we are is watchmen. 
We can't make the people evacuate. All we can do is ring the alarm. And as long as we do our job, God will be satisfied with us, no matter what happens to everything around us. Obviously, we want to save people. Obviously, we want to change them. We want to convert them. We want them to know how much God loves them and wants them to stop their sinful lifestyles and behavior. But the bottom line is, even if they don't, that's their choice. All we have to do is sound the alarm, and we'll be in God's favor. Whether or not they listen to us is really up to them, and of course we pray for them. But ultimately, we have to remember that as Christians, all we are is watchmen. Stay the course, friends. Hey, y'all know I'm a stats and numbers guy, so here's some fun facts for you. People that subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel are 200% more satisfied with their online video content and 400% more likely to be able to speak intelligently about politics and religion with somebody they know. Also, four out of five people that subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel live healthier, more fulfilling lives. And that fifth guy was just a social justice warrior with a stick up his butt. Also, 82% of the statistics on the internet totally made up.